Just wanted to do a preview on working on a, a uh, heated bed install on an Anycubic Mega Zero. So I've got the source code firmware. I was able to get that from Anycubic. Um, I did make some changes. So custom startup screen and a custom status screen. So it will actually display the proper temperatures. Shows the heat bed. Um, You'll actually be able to be able to uh, heat the bed through the menu. So all that's working. Um, was able to test it. I plugged a thermistor into the board, so the temp sensor does read the ambient air temp. Uh, so I know that the sensor reading, if I plug the sensor in, would work. Uh, output from the board, there's two pins that don't have a terminal soldered to it that are labeled heated bed. The positive, uh, the positive terminal does get 12 volts positive. The negative terminal doesn't do anything when you enable it. There's a MOSFET that is supposed to be on the board or that could be added to the board that would enable that. Um, but because we're running off of a small power brick that wouldn't have enough juice to even power a heated bed uh, running the power direct from the board to your, to your bed is definitely a no-no you'd want to do some type of MOSFET external so uh, this is what I originally bought uh, a few months back for another printer it came in a two-pack so I had a spare but I'm not sure if this will take five volts to activate it I'm going to experiment with that but I noticed that any cubic or under the Tri-Gorilla brand makes a uh, MOSFET bed controller that will accept a 5 to 12 volt input to turn on the MOSFET. So there's two pins on this board inside and in the next video we'll show that. I'm actually going to solder wires to those two pins. That is going to give me a 5 volt signal that will run to the Anycubic MOSFET. It should allow me to then feed the MOSFET with power from uh, power supply and then power the bed so um, you got the the uh, hard part done the software end of it the hardware um, will work with modification there's going to be some soldering so what I purchased was a um, any cubic ultra base bed but there's a few differences mainly the position of the studs uh, they're all the way out at the corners uh, so I had to get a new plate for the y-axis. Well, the position of the bearings is in a different spot. So I'm going to modify this guy uh, to work. And then I'm going to probably get these laser cut in the right configuration. Uh, wouldn't be that hard to get made up if anybody needed them. So you'd be able to bolt this directly to um, the bed without um, modifying the frame. Now, I know some of you probably look at how these rails are put in here. And you say, oh, you could just loosen these bolts and slide it over. Well, they actually drilled and tapped the extrusion. And they did that for alignment reasons. So having to move these around to compensate and, and tram stuff in is just too big of a pain in the butt to mess with. I've got an easy solution. It won't be very expensive. And I'll share the files. Uh, but for power supply, I have a 24-volt power supply. I printed a case that's going to attach to the extrusion. 110 in with a switch. And then this will get hooked up as a 110 out. And then we're just going to use a cable to go from the power supply out. And it'll go into the factory power brick. So you'll be able to power the whole thing with uh, one switch and with one um, power cable uh, plugged into the wall. So I've pretty much got it sorted out. Um, should have this running next week. Why am I adding a heated bed to the Mega Zero? Well, I bought the Mega Zero for 150 bucks. Um, it's got, you know, 40 by 40 extrusion. For the base, nice 20 by uh, 40 extrusion. Um, it does come with a clone of a BMG extruder. It prints very well. 
Um, I thought adding a heated bed to it would be a little easier, but it's obviously not. So we'll get that completed and we'll show you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Before we end this, I just wanted to show what's going on on the board. So you'll be able to see circled in red here, there is a spot where a MOSFET could be soldered on that would make the two pins active for the uh, heated bed, but you won't be able to power it with the stock power brick. So if you solder wires to those two uh, terminals circled in red, you'd be able to activate this AnyCubic or TriGorilla external MOSFET controller. It does accept a 5 volt signal, so in theory that should work. I will have that here in a few days and I'll get that tested out, but uh, just make sure you guys like and subscribe and follow the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more 3D printing videos. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.